That is really creepy. Can he manipulate it? Is that a stand? Oh, it is! Boys, we are back here for some more Diamond is Unbreakable. I'm really excited for this one today because last episode, man, we just found out what Koichi's stand was. He came up against the annoying, yet kind of funny, con artist. And his stand, uh, yeah, I mean, basically was annoying. But overall, dude, the guy was pretty comedic. And it fleshed out my dude Koichi's stand. Gave him even more drip. I don't know how that's possible because the hair, bro, the attitude that comes with it. Oh my god, Koichi, man. I'm loving him so far. I love it all the characters, but Koichi, he's my favorite, man. I like him a lot. So his stand was pretty cool, but I'm not completely understanding of it yet. Like, I get that he, like, punches somebody, doesn't do any power, but wherever he connects to them, the sound of that, um, and whatever sound he makes, basically that ripples inside their body, and so they just hear it over and over, but what he did to his mother was like, said that, and it went straight to her soul, whatever um, he said, I can't remember exactly. So it's just sort of like his stance to a sound. I would like to know a bit more in depth on how exactly that works. Um, we'll probably find it out um, in the next couple of episodes or I'm just dumb, bro. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Either way, man, I'm really excited. We still got to find out about Chili Pepper because that dude just threatened us and just dipped. So next couple of episodes, I imagine we'll at least find out some little bit more information. Because if he's not the main, like, villain of the series, I'm not sure he's going to be. Because, like, it just seems that this whole dude who created all these stand users is just going to come back to haunt us a little bit like the end of part three well with that being said if you guys are on here and you want to see more comments like this want to see more jojo's bizarre adventure other enemies we do on the channel make sure you guys subscribe and if you guys want early access to all these videos fully uncut with no filters or anything on them make sure you go check out our patreon the link to that is in the description so if you guys want to support the dream of eventually doing this full time in the next year or two or however long it takes patreon is the best way to do that Seriously, I appreciate you guys so much who were on there. You guys are making this dream feasible. Like, I didn't even think it was possible like a month ago. But now that, like, so many guys have supported it on Patreon, we're already at like 40 already. I don't know how. That it doesn't seem unrealistic if we work hard enough at this, that it's possible. Anyway, man, sorry to be preachy. I just really appreciate all you guys who are on there and just support the channel. All right, man, let's get into episode seven. Hey, that's the radio. I love it. Help me, midnight discussions. All right, what's going on here? Forever 21, pretty baby. This is from this dude. Oh, yeah, must be him. That's so ominous. What the fuck? Oh, uh, what? Did he do that to himself or his, his stand something to do with? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, he's being an informant. Let's go, bro. Ah. Damn, this dude really created so many stand users. What the fuck? He did that? That is insane. I was staring at my left eye, which I gouged out with my right eye. That's ridiculous. That is not a fun stand. Could be. Maybe not. That's very true. At least you're on our side. That's pretty funny. You do this for Koichi, bro. You waste a lot of money here, man. Do you have a job? What? Really? Mr. Master Koichi? Oh, why does it involve financing? That doesn't sound like you, bro. We cannot ignore this. We have to investigate. We gotta go after him, man. Come on, man. Believe in Master Koichi. He's so hearted. <laughs> the man I've chosen to admire. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'll be heading home now. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> See you later, bro. He's funny. Oh, what if we actually can't find him? 
しかしよこの狭間だってやつ Damn. What would his stand would be for him to like gouge his eye out? What if he can blend in? What if he doesn't look like that now? Oh, there he is. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, Koichi, watch out back. This dude creepy as fuck. Is he in the ceiling? He's just reading his shit. Hey, respect. Last manga. Wait, you thought he might be. Oh. Is that a stand? The fudge. That is really creepy. Can he manipulate it? Is that a stand? Oh, it is! Okay, okay. That looks like a human hand now. Uh. Um, what the fuck? Can it turn into anybody and manipulate them? Oh my god, bro. Can it take its abilities? Oh my god, it sounds just like him as well. Oh, this is just getting interesting. It would be pretty cool to have one around. I guess you're just the living version of it. That's <laughs> cool, you can clearly define them because of the whole like button in the front. It actually fully works like that. That's crazy. Oh my god. They have to move it. Oh, there's movements of everything. So it's all up to Koichi at this point. The Puppet Master! Ah! Ooh! Yo, Koichi out of commission. Fuck. Holy crap! The damage! Yeah, yeah, he definitely did do it. This dude is crazy! Can you really get out of that? Josuke? Oh, wait. wait. Oh my god, he can't even manipulate him in the same spot? Bro. And he knows the distance of his stand? I mean, the range? No way you can see it. You bastard. Fuck you, bro. Really? Why? <gasps> He must be working for Chili Pepper! It's Chili Pepper, right? Or is it hot chili? Fuck, I forgot it. Yeah, bro. What are you gonna do about that? Very, very true. Nobody can chance against George. Yeah, because you could get close to him because you look like Josuke. <laughs> What did Joshua do there? I feel like we would have seen his eye actually get gouged out. You look like a bitch, bro. That's so cool. You can just like see him a physical form next to him. Ah! What? Can Koichi just get any more badass? Oh my god, Koichi. You're insane, bro. Let's fucking go, dude. Come on, we gotta get up. Can we just, like, call him at the hotel? That would kind of fix this problem. That's insane! Yo! Who are you? Are you in love with Jotaro? I mean, Josuke? She's blushing. Yeah. But this phone's broken, eh? So we fucked. <gasps> He's already doing it! No. Yep. Uh, okay, we're fucked. We need to get down there really quickly. Interesting. This is getting really interesting. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, 
and they run just after he left. So there's nowhere to actually go find out where he's going either. Crap, is Joshua going to catch on to this? He copied it all the way down to the fingertips. It's like a full on one on one. Wait, you know of him? What? What? Ooh! Not to my boy, really? Joshua is so badass though. If he gets manipulated by this, be very easy, but I just believe in him so much, man. He's too cool. He's too cool. Oh, nine minutes left. Oh my god. We've got to catch up in that amount of time. And uh, we ran past that. Are we gonna run back? Fuck. <laughs> Everybody's in love with Josuke! <laughs> Fair enough, man. Wait, that's your stand, bro. You can control him. <laughs> Come on, man. It's your stand, dude. Control this dude. Dude, it's your stand. You're fucking... You're random. Why are you doing this? Oh. So what, you can't completely make them do what you want in a way. Ah. So even copy that personality. But you gotta kill a kid just cause of that? Bro, chill the fuck out. <laughs> he looks like a dying Kurgan. <laughs> Good metaphor, I like it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, he's best. Oh, bro. I'll cover myself. Really? What the fuck, man? Bro, this is fucking insane! What? Wow. Copy Josuke. You're impressive. Hey, what up? Squat's here? Yeah, man. Bro, you really didn't check to see if we were finished off. It's your fault, yeah, man. I mean, he must have a plan for this. Oh, he's putting it back together. Let's go! Yeah! And now your hand's gone, bro. Oh, they're gonna keep doing this from a distance. That's a good play. <laughs> Wait up for me! You gotta repair those guys, then we gotta chase after them. Come on. You can't leave those guys to die. Mm. Oh, but if we repair the bike? We got this, bruh! Easy! Hey, he looks like a badass. Yo, you guys gotta go through, otherwise, you're gonna have to wait even longer. Laugh so maniacal, man. I won! What are they doing? They're just running across. Wait, did they manipulate that? <gasps> the sound of it! Pog! Yo, that's insane! Good shit! I didn't even think of that. Let's go, man. Gotta keep going faster and faster. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you didn't get here in time. What are you gonna do now?
Why do I have this thing? Because <gasps> he's in distance? He's manipulating him from here. Yeah. Oh my god. No way the real one's inside. <gasps> what? Surely Jojo was suspicious of like getting a pen out of the pocket. Oh my god, this is a sick ass play here, man! This death instant, your shining diamond! Shining diamond? I thought it was crazy diamond. Am I just watching like the wrong dub? You're the one who killed Jotaro! Uh, what's gonna happen? Jotaro is very fast, so. Nobody noticed this yet? Dun dun dun! Oh my god! They were behind him the whole time. Oh <laughs> <little> shit. <laughs> Just like Josuke said, that was really, really close, man. Oh my god. That could have gone south so quickly. I bet you back at full foot earlier. Hey! Just picking up a little kid. Normal things we do around here. What a great little town. Rip the doll. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rip that guy, man. No, chili pepper. I didn't notice. God, that's a screenshot. Yo, another cool stand user, man. I haven't been disappointed with a single stand so far in the series. And now we have the con artist on our side. He's working for us, which did help in this situation completely. But now we see Chili Pepper. It's the end of the last episode, so we might get to see him soon. Which would be really cool. So I really want to see a stand. I really want to see him go up against Jotaro, man. Oh my god, like the stopping time. I want to see like Jotaro use that, especially since he's a bit rusty with it. Man, this kid's stand, how it can just like turn any human into like a puppet. Pretty OP at points, but it seems like it had, there was a bit of a range to it. He couldn't do it like at any distance. He still had to see the user, which um, it does limit his abilities, but very intimidating right off the bat. I'm excited for next episode. I'm excited to watch more JoJo's. So if you guys are new right here, make sure you guys subscribe and check out the Patreon if you guys want early access to all these videos fully uncut. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.